Hello, I am Arun Gidu and I've been working for the last 30 plus years with either computer systems or supply chain computer systems or as a supply chain practitioner. In this video, I will discuss how we can provide end-to-end -end visibility and why it is important. First, why it's important. All customers in a non-retail setting want to know when their product is going to be delivered. We cannot provide this information unless we have end-to-end -end visibility across our supply chain. The second reason end-to-end -end visibility is important is that we gain, when we try to uh, obtain this uh, visibility, we gain also the ability to measure and consequently improve both our internal operations and also our interactions with the suppliers. Here, let us focus on the document flow and the flow of goods between the customer, distributor, and supplier. I will speak from the distributor's point of view here, since the distributor is right in the middle of the flow. The distributor needs to provide the customer the best estimate of the delivery day for the product ordered by the customer. I will also assume that the distributor has fully implemented EDI specifications with relationship to the customer. In my previous video, I had discussed the document flow between the distributor and supplier and how to keep the POs updated even when the supplier has not fully implemented EDI specifications. Here, let us focus on two scenarios. One, distributor has inventory to satisfy customer order. And the second scenario is distributor does not have inventory to satisfy customer order. Also note that the distributor could also be the manufacturer and supplier but the same points hold true. Instead of keeping track of the status of the purchase order, now we need to keep track of the status of the production order. This is the simplest scenario. The customer places the sales order. The system checks if there is inven enough inventory available. And in this case, since that is our assumption, it is available it will send a sales order acknowledgement to the customer that the package will be shipped in most cases the same day. This sales order, when it comes into the distributor, also causes a pick ticket to be generated in the warehouse of the distributor. The warehouse then picks and packs the shipment, which is then picked up by the carrier for delivery to the customer. When it's picked up by the carrier, the system will send also an ASN, advanced ship notice, to the customer with details of the shipment. Since all of these are internal operations for the distributor, most ERP system will timestamp all of these activities for live or later analysis. So in this simple case, we have end-to-end -end visibility uh, for this transaction and we can provide the best estimate uh, of the delivery date to the customer. Here, we have a scenario that is not that simple, but we can still provide end-to-end -end visibility and the best estimate of delivery dates for our customer. We need to make sure that we have POAs and ASN from the supplier. In my previous videos, I have mentioned how we can get this info even if the supplier has not fully implemented EDI specifications. So let us see with an Excel mockup examples of both of these scenarios uh, to provide end-to-end -end visibility and best estimate of customer delivery dates. So let us here see the simple case. That is, the distributor has inventory to satisfy the incoming customer order. Now, let's assume that today's date is the 1st of November. Uh, the customer wants 40 units and we have uh, 60 units of on-hand inventory. 
uh, lead time, delivery days, and all of that, I will talk uh, for the second scenario because it's not applicable uh, for this simple scenario. So once again, we have 60 on hand, customer order of 40 comes in, and then we process the order. And what happens is the system calculates that the ship date is today because we already have the inventory and it can ship all 40 and then update the on-hand inventory to 20. So here we have a complete visibility into this transaction. And because everything is internal, all of the internal operations can be timestamped and can be later analyzed. But the important thing here is that we can calculate the expected ship date uh, to the for the customer and send it across in the form of a customer acknowledgement. Now, let us look at the more complicated scenario in which uh, the distributor does not have enough inventory on hand to satisfy the incoming customer order. So the customer order is for 40 units. We only have uh, 20 units. Of course, Let's assume that today's date is the 1st of November. And lead time. Lead time is the number of days it takes from the time a PO is placed to the time the product is on our shelf or on the distributor's shelf. And delivery time is the time it takes for either the supplier to ship to the distributor or for the distributor to ship to the customer. So five days of delivery time, lead time is 30 days. This is of course applicable to the purchase order. So now let's see what happens when we process this order. So what it says here is, there was uh, on hand inventory of 20, customer ordered 40. It takes that 20 and says, okay, we can ship that on the 1st of November, which is today. And then it also creates a PO requisition for 50 more units. And it creates a PO requisition for 50, even though the required quantity is only 20 because the economic order quantity is 50. So it creates an order quantity of 50. And because it knows that the lead time for this product is 30 days, and we place the PO on the 1st of November, it knows that this is going to be coming in on the 1st of December, and therefore it says it can expect to ship the remaining 20 on the 1st of December. Now let's say that the uh, supplier has inventory, and therefore they say that they can ship on, let's say, the 3rd of November. So they, if they ship on 3rd of November, because the delivery time is five days, we should expect to receive it on 8th of November and therefore expect to ship the product to the customer on the 8th. So let's process the POA. And then now automatically, uh, you know, it changes the expected ship date of the remaining 20 from 1st of December to 8th of November. So now this is how we are giving the best estimate of uh, delivery dates based on what the supplier has told us uh, in the most recent past. So without the data from the supplier, we said it takes 30 days because that is the best estimate. And once the supplier gives the actual estimate, we inform the customer that it is going to be sooner in this case which is also the best estimate with this information. So here we are able to give the best estimate of the customer delivery date with the information received uh, from the purchase uh, from the supplier, or even if it is not received from the supplier, we still give them the best estimate because without that uh, information that there is, in, uh, there is uh, inventory at the supplier, the lead time is 30 days. So in all cases, we are able to give the best estimate of uh, delivery date. And that is why this is important
to have this kind of visibility and the supplier and the distributor and can work together to get this. So in the Excel mockup, we saw how we can use end-to-end -end visibility to provide best estimates of delivery dates to the customer. And by doing this, we can also measure and improve our own internal operations and interactions with the supplier. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I especially welcome questions like, this is the exact scenario I'm trying to solve. How do I come up with an efficient solution? I will try to answer as much as I can. Thank you.